and intelligent machines are coming and they will be doing some of the activities that humans are doing today. It's not if, but it's when. What we are already seeing is that the nature of the firm is undergoing a deep transformation. We will see a lot of freelance activities, we will see a lot of teleworking, we're going to see work weeks that are going to be shorter. People will work more years in their lifetime, but shorter weeks. The new managers will have to manage teams of people and machines in which maybe the machines will dominate and the role for humans in these productive activities will not be managing the same teams of people, which is what traditional managers do and traditional companies. They have uh, people in their payroll and they, and they work exclusively for one particular company. I think we're going to go more and more towards working for projects and teams that will be formed and, and disbanded as these projects get completed. So you're going to need to do a lot of management while you're writing the code for these machines. But once the code is written, then, then it just runs. In my view, this is going to be liberating. It's going to, to liberate humans from boring jobs, these kind of jobs that are really subhuman activities that will be done by machines, and then humans will be able to do other things. There's many ways to organize this. Productivity is an obsession that belongs to, to, to the past, belongs to the industrial age. So far, technology has created more jobs than it has destroyed. And if it does not give us jobs, it does not really matter as long as it creates value. Because if it generates value, then humans can go back to, you know, to being free and not having to deal with necessity because machines will take care of necessity.